Hey guys! In this video, I'll be demonstrating a single application of the Simpsons one third rule for integration. Now, the Simpsons one third rule is based on the idea of replacing the function with a second order polynomial and estimating the integral as the area underneath that polynomial. So, let's go ahead and get started with this example that I've created. This is my given equation and my bounds of integration, and I'm going to have two segments. And this is really important because in order to even use the Simpsons one-third rule, you have to have a minimum of two segments, or if you have more than two segments, it has to be a multiple of two. So the first thing I need to do is graph the function and the line graph. So I've already graphed the function here for you using MATLAB. And then I made a basic line graph sketch down here. And this is a tool that my professor taught me for, um, use, for integration techniques, and I think that it's really super helpful, so I highly recommend doing this. The next thing I need to do is to find A, B, N, and H. So A is my lower bound of integration, and that was given to me as zero. And then B is my upper bound of integration. And that was given to me as 1.4. N is the number of segments I have. In this case, it's 2. And h is my step size. And that equation is boxed in in blue over here. And it's basically how big each segment is. So it's my upper bound minus my lower bound divided by how many segments I have. So in this case, it's 1.4 minus 0 divided by 2, which gives me 0 0.7. The third thing I need to do is plot and identify key points. So I'm going to start by plotting my upper bound and my lower bound. So here's my lower bound, and here's my upper bound. And then I know that I need to have two segments. And so if each segment is h distance long, and that means that this um, internal boundary will be located at a plus the step size, or a plus h. And so that will just be 0 plus 0 0.7, which is 0 0.7. And so that's like right in the center right here. And so for the Simpsons one-third rule, based on the idea of approximating the function as a second-order polynomial, in other words, a parabola. And so if I draw some vertical lines here. Okay, that one is really crooked. <laughs> That's better. And then I connect all of these lines with an arc. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. It's a lot easier on a piece of paper. I'm going to redo that. See, this is where it's important, even as an engineer, to have at least some drawing skills. All right, so pretend that that's a nice, pretty curve. And so the area underneath this curve is what we are estimating to be the area underneath the blue curve. And 
Okay. So now that you understand that, I'm going to move on to step four, which is to apply the Simpsons one-third rule over each segment. And so since we're doing a single application, because we only have two segments, I'm going to use this equation right here. And it is important to note real quick that even though we technically have two segments, the Simpsons one-third formula is applied over both segments. So moving on to step four, I'm basically going to substitute all of my pieces into this equation and solve. So we have h divided by three times the quantity of the function evaluated at a plus four times the function evaluated at our middle part, or our middle step, a plus h plus the function evaluated at b. So that becomes 0 0.7 divided by 3 times the function evaluated at 0 plus 4 times the function evaluated at 0 0.7 plus the function evaluated at 1.4. When I perform those calculations, I get that our final answer is 9.20381. And this is our final answer to this problem. So that's it. I hope this video um, better helped you guys understand a single application of the Simpsons one-third rule for integration.